show you quickly how I'm used the uh, candles metadata ejector for uploading vid videos in 3D for YouTube. So let me go ahead and shoot a quick clip. Okay. Go to Candle VR, their website. I'll put a link in the video. You go to the support and look for uh, support for Kukam Eagle. Scroll down. And what we're looking for is the Candle Kukam YouTube Metadata Injector Tool, right? Right here. Well, I'm, I'm going to show you how we do it for Mac. I'm going to go to Mac OS. It's been updated um, February 6, 2024, version 1.10. Okay, I'm going to download that. I'm gonna go and exit out of that. Go to my downloads. I'm gonna pull that metadata file here, that zip file, double click it and expand it. Okay, great. Now inside this folder, you have uh, NFF MPEG, the output folder, the readme text, and the run command, right? Now, because the Mac has all kinds of security issues, you may need to goose it a little bit. So. Uh, let's go ahead and find a file according to their instructions. The instructions is to place the MP file from the Kukam Eagle into the root here. Then you run the command and then output then the output the uh, file with the metadata will be in the output folder. So let's go and get one of the files first. This shot is here. I'm going to click it and copy it to the desktop. Perfect. This is from the candle. This is the candle file side by side 3840 by 1080, right? Okay, good. Um, I'm going to put this file into the root folder, into this folder, right? Okay. Now, the run command, you right click right click open with terminal okay I'm gonna go like this now you're gonna get a no a nag says can I verify the developer are you sure you want to open it it says yes open right now now it says ffmpeg cannot be open because the developer cannot be verified okay so this is this file here right so let's go ahead and go to security settings And the security, it's going to tell you, um, uh, it doesn't tell you, well, to give you a goose, it doesn't tell you anything about that file, right? Whether you can still run it, right? So what you need to do, I hit cancel first. What you need to do is, okay, cancel. Right click, right click the MPEG, get info. And what you do is down in the bottom of the permissions, we're gonna go ahead and change it to change it this it's it to read and write, and everyone has read and write access. Okay, see that? I just changed the privilege to read and write for everything. I'm gonna go and lock that up again, close it, and we're gonna try this command again. Right to close this. Go ahead now. We've got the file in this root folder. Right click, open with terminal. Okay cannot be verified so now I'm gonna go back to the security settings again system settings security okay security go back down now you ha now you have this warning ffmpeg was blocked from use because it's not from identified developer I trust Candel here in this case I'm going to hit allow anyway and then type in the password to allow it and the settings is modified. Okay, great. Close it. Now, what I'm going to exit out of this because it gives you an error message here. So, I'm going to cancel here. So this should be good to all right. So, so right click, open with. So I, I open with terminal, and open. And then voila, starting the process now. Takes a little while.
the process is complete. Okay, the process done. Okay, so X out of this. The, the, the resulting file should be in the output folder right here inside there. And now you see this file is an MKV. If you want to look at it, look at it. With, okay. And uh, aspect ratio should be uh, 16, 16 by right there. And there you go. This is the file now. So basically, this file is now ready for upload to directly to YouTube. There you go.